For the first time in nearly a year, students are back inside Philadelphia public schools. Right now, it's just the youngest pre-K through second graders. And here at Juniata Park Academy, welcome back. Parents getting emotional, dropping off their kids on this chilly morning. A bit of bittersweet. Um, I mean, obviously, I want to keep them safe, but I don't want them to fall back. Good morning. Can About good morning? 60 students expected back inside this elementary school. Other students still learning from home, but in the coming weeks, more should be welcomed back. After a year studying inside their living room, students are very excited to get to their classrooms. Meeting uh, the teacher and starting to learn math and science and good stuff I uh, learned in computers. The district spent weeks negotiating on issues like ventilation and vaccinations. Teachers will also be tested routinely. Today's opening is just the beginning, but it's still a question whether older students like high schoolers can get back indoors before this academic year ends. We will continue to move forward and get as many children back as possible. We would like to have all the schools open. I wish I had a magic wand and could do that. Um, we want, we're obviously concerned about our youngest kids uh, and their you know, socialization and academics. It's a lot harder for the district to open bigger schools, especially in older buildings, because students need to be six feet apart with proper ventilation. But cases are going down, vaccinations up, and the end of the school year just three months away. In Juniata Park, Randy Gyllenhaal, NBC 10 News. And of course, you can count on NBC 10 for the very latest as the district releases more information for families returning. And you can get the free alerts from the NBC 10 app or, of course, read more on NBC10.com.